Just hurry, just hurry up, Adam, so we can have lunch. Did you format it? Yes, I formatted. Okay. All right, Adam's going to the little girl's room. <laughs> he's going to the. He's going actually. He's going to examine his own pussy. Yeah. He's going to step over it. Yeah. He's going to step over a mirror to look at his own pussy for he's, the first time. He's spreading it open with his fingers. He's got to go dilate. Because <laughs> he got he got the surgery. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I wonder if they're that we're gonna now that Biden's president, we're gonna have some because I, I really feel bad for trans people getting that getting the hole made. Why do you say that? Because I mean it's it's not there yet. You don't think so? No, you got to keep a thing. You got to keep like a fucking everyone. I thought that was in the back in the past. No, you got to sleep with a with you got to sleep a, with a, a cucumber dildo. in your yeah. Pussy? It'll seal up like a gauged out ear. Wow. Yeah, but at a certain point, the the pussy stays, doesn't it? No. Why don't they do it like you do a, a swimming it's a, pool? It's a woo. Your body's like, like constantly in a state of like something's wrong. Yeah, but if you, what if you just? There's got to be ways to stop that from happening. Yeah, sleeping with a dildo in every <laughs> single night. It also like it'll start growing hair on the inside sometimes. Mm. What and if then, you put a pocket pussy in the hole? You'll see, like, there's, like, forums where people describe, like, how, what do I do about the smell? Everyone in my office is complaining. <laughs> and it's like, I, well, I guess maybe you should, like, microwave bananas or something. You'd be like, oh, it's my lunch. <laughs> bananas? Yeah. Why bananas? Because it's a good. strong smell. Bananas are a, a, a but smell. It doesn't that smell like pussy. You should microwave I, fish. Neither does uh, their vagina. That's the problem. Yeah, maybe it does. Maybe Can you imagine if a woman having just, a really stinky like pussy? a cis woman's her pussy just stunk up an office? <laughs> I feel like I've, I feel like I know a couple. Mm -hmm. I've, I've experienced that before. That's got to suck to be in an office and there's like somebody who's like, like cheapo surgery pussy is just making yeah you know, like just su 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 making the place reek yeah and you're like in, look I'm on the team you're, I'm happy for you you're closing the door to the HR manager's office every day being like this has to stop yeah <laughs> why did Claudia have to go to Mexico yeah. to get this yeah. gender reassignment if surgery? only we had put pussies on the fucking mm -hmm. on the on the healthcare plan yeah why didn't we all give they're to just, that fucking GoFundMe which yeah. we thought was annoying they're just the like in their office like typing away or whatever and like somebody's coming by and like caulking the door <laughs> They're like, what are you doing? I'm like, uh, they say they say that a door is uh, make a too much noise, <laughs> so they want to put a uh, silicone <laughs> around the door. <laughs> He's wearing a hazmat suit. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> I'll just get back to typing now. I gotta believe there's a keyboard just being smashed into pieces. <laughs> 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 oh man! I'm typing a letter. <laughs> poor, poor lady. Yeah. Now let me ask you this: It's a really shitty lot in life. Too. How far? Don't don't be. Don't yeah. say it's shitty. Okay. Don't put. No, it's so, difficult. So, well, now you're looking down on somebody. I'm mm -hmm. not saying they get the but. but you know, everywhere they go, Mexican guys are caulking, caulking up. under their doors. <laughs> under and then even doors. to get out, they have to call them because they're just caulked gotta, in. You just got to laugh at them. <laughs> you know? Just, How far do you think the do. pussy surgery is... I got to think that, that I think your information is outdated. I think Biden is putting about 60% of the mm -hmm. budget into making, into making these surgeries pussy, better. Making, yeah. It used to be out a dildo in there and it didn't... Uh, would seal up on you. <laughs> That's how they used to do it. As you go and you get a dildo, you go down to a dildo store and you say, "Let me get, let me get a, an extra wide one because I got a long weekend. And I'm not going to be able to bring my dildo with me." <laughs> and stretch it out, maybe uh, you know, the size of a tennis ball. You're good till good, good through Memorial Day weekend. <laughs> That's what we used to do. We'd, we well, man, Delaware days. Me and Bo, we'd stretch out. My, uh, my friend Eric, he got a pussy. <laughs> And we'd stretch it out the size of a volleyball, leave on Friday. We'd be down on the shore till Monday. Rehoboth. Reho we'd go down to Rehoboth. <laughs> He'd meet guys. He'd have two or three of them fuck them at the same time. <laughs> so Eric was a man but had a pussy. Yeah, Eric was a man and he that had a Biden pussy. Was, <laughs> okay, Biden, Biden was Biden helping was him. With. Yeah. It used to be every guy had a pussy. <laughs> He's so tricky to do. I can do like one or two words. Yeah, and then I lose. You it. got the cadence down. Yeah, yeah. the The corn pop video is just a good reference point. I, made it, I you said, see the the pattern of 
with which he speaks. I was practicing. When he says, not a joke. He likes he he like has a long sentence then he has a short sentence. So you've been studying him. I was practicing. No, I was practicing him, him last night and I I got just the word victory I can do. Okay. Here. A victory. That's good. That's good. Yeah. That's good. That one was. Uh, that's as close as I got. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. A victory. A victory. <laughs> a victory. Shouts out to fucking Joe, dude. My man mm. was getting his largest turnout in a presidential election. Yeah, because he like he sort of aped Obama's cadence a, bit, yeah. a bit. Yeah, after totally. Eight years with him because he did such a. But yeah. it's it's like it's very slight, and you can go into Obama land. It's mm-hmm. like it's combining Obama and like a mid Atlantic guy, right? But not a hard, not a full on. He doesn't do guy. the just full a, o. Just, just a little, just a pinch, taste. and then he's also got kind seasoning. of like an old person accent. Of course, he's very tricky. It's Obama's deceptive. got a little bit more baritone in there. Jim Carrey, come on, like a second of Jim Carrey's not horrible. bad. No. I, I thought I thought it wasn't it's terrible. Bad. It's, it's bad. hard to do Biden. Yeah, but we'll find a good Biden guy one of these you days. Can't do, the they thing. have eight white guys on SNL. One of them can't do fucking I feel, Biden. I feel bad for a people. Victory. That's, <laughs> that's, that's it. Really good. That's 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 as close as anyone's ever going to get. Really good, man. A victory. Damn the the stocks in the in the Trump comedy. I'll be a president. Industry or crash. A president around. that unites rather than divides. That's pretty good. Yeah. Rather than divides. But that's a little southern. Divide is a little southern. It's not divide. It's divides. 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 I don't know. I'm I watched not, a movie. That's how he says I it. I watched dude. the first half hour of a movie where Robert Duvall plays a, a law, a, an insane lawyer. You got to you gotta suck Which the dick one? down slow. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, <laughs> it was a weird you gotta, movie. You got to get movie? the dick hard, and then you suck it down slow. <laughs> <laughs> it was a... Uh, John Travolta played a fucking ambulance chasing guy. Mm-hmm. And it was mm-hmm. like him, Tony Shalhoub, and um, the guy from Boogie Nights whose wife cucks him. So he fucking. William H. Macy. Yes, mm-hmm. William H. Macy. They were like lawyers together, and then some kids got cancer. It was a fucking weird movie. That sounds like a good law firm. Not all, not all the kids have cancer, only the ones that are slow. <laughs> <laughs> it's only, they said it used to be everybody got cancer, and then we come around, and now it's only the retarded kids <laughs> are getting cancer because they're slow. <laughs> I was watching, he's in Gone in 60 Seconds. He plays like the old guy, oh, like nice. car thief or whatever. Hell yeah. Really? Yeah. I got to see that movie. Dude, oh, it's so bad. I can't wait. It's really bad. And they put on Low Rider, and Nicolas Cage is like, not yet. <laughs> and it just gets to like the bu 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 and he's like, okay, let's roll. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Dude, that's mm-hmm. crazy. We all watched Nick. I Nicky watched Stevens. The Rock. I watched Snake Eyes mm-hmm. and then Port of Call. I've, I've mm-hmm. been on a little Nick. Uh, run recently. He should, every movie should have him and Robert Duvall in it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, I watched The Rock because I wanted to see some Sean. You don't Connery. understand. It's not just yeah. the president's man. It's all of them. There's all all of the president's men. <laughs> the president has got men, and there's all of them. <laughs> it's not just one or two or three. It's we're talking about every single one of the men <laughs> that the president has. <laughs> there's our Willie is not free, and we're going to free him. We're going to take, there's a whale, and we're going to free him. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. He was the trainer, wasn't he? <sighs> there's a whale I want to let. I want to let out of here. <laughs> You're right. You man. can't let him go because he lives in a zoo. <laughs> well, whale belongs here in the zoo, and if he gets out, won't know what to do with himself. We're trying to go down there and fuck them all. <laughs> The whale will? Yeah, I don't know. The whale will try and get pussy from everyone? Yeah. Used to be a whale couldn't get fucked. <laughs> uh, me, and, me and Rap Rock Obama, we, we had a conversation where I said, I fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's, he's, it's hard to go from Duval to Biden. He's cause close. Because there's, there's a little overlap. Yeah, there's overlap with everybody. That's it's called true. the English language. No, no, there's not overlap. What's the overlap between Robert Duval and Michael Jackson? Um, There's a lot. Yeah, the, 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 the well, they're they're Eskimo brothers. <laughs> oh yeah, they both got pussy mm-hmm. from, yeah, they, from, uh, from Presley. This, What's her name? It doesn't matter if your color Lisa. is black or white. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be any kind of color. You could always be my baby. That's not. I that's can't do it. Can't you don't want to be a color. You it, don't. You can always be my baby. It doesn't matter if you're black or white. Oh, I thought always be my baby. 
Uh, yeah, that's she also says that <laughs> <laughs> in a different one. I'm trying to have sex for the first time. <laughs> I, I, it's uh, the American people have spoken and they want to let me have sex <laughs> for the first time. <laughs> Damn, dude. I would. I am sexually attracted to Dr. Jill, though. Mm-hmm. I think she looks good. I'm trying to get Top Mala from Kamala. The first, the first Italian. Oh, yeah. You saw that picture of Kamala? Absolutely. With her titties out. Wait, who is she Montel with? Montel Montel. <laughs> <laughs> Did Montel get pussy from the I vice president? I don't think president? so. I don't believe so. With his glaucoma? He doesn't have glaucoma. He has some kind of muscular dystrophy, I think. No, I thought he has, he has a, he's a weed advocate because of his glaucoma. I believe he has some kind of body issue. Dude, she looks so hot in that Montel Williams. They should, they, I should petition the government to fill the cabinet with only people I can sort of do impressions of. That would be awesome. Yeah, that Just would, for the sake of the show. Yeah. Like, who else? Uh, Secretary of Labor... Dwayne the Rock Johnson. <laughs> yeah. We got, who, my dick in the, who put his dick in my ass? We got Dwayne the Rock Johnson, <laughs> and he's going to be in charge of the jobs. Secretary of the Interior, Jeff Goldblum. Mm-hmm. And a, the interior is inside of his it's ass. inside of my ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or a woman's does pussy. Anyone, well, there's a department and no one knows what it is. <laughs> the interior, interior of what? Your mind, your ass. <laughs> and we could go in there and make fun videos. You can laugh, you can dance, you can sing. I mean, I've got corny ideas, but you'll think of something much better. <laughs> Ah, oh, fuck, dude. Uh, and head of the Department of Education, we got... Mm-hmm. Uh, Shakira. I guess, sure. <laughs> yeah. Why the fuck not? <laughs> Housing and urban development. <laughs> <laughs> fuck <laughs> my <laughs> fuck <laughs> my <laughs> yeah, like She sounds like Meat One. Yeah. She does. She sounds like the Meat One. Mm. Yeah, she's got a back on the throat. <laughs> I like the idea of using whole episodes of the show to just work out one impression. <laughs> getting kind of close and then getting drifting further and further yeah, apart. Of course. Course. Yeah, of course. No it, jokes, just, just the workshop. Just that's what the people are... That's what you guys... Are yeah. not paying for because this is a free one. The, well, also too, it's like most most of the people that listen to the show, they're really funny and they're yeah. they're going to have a future in comedy. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Um, they just need well, to especially g- the best ones that listen. Yeah, the yeah. ones we like to hear from the most. They're all going to be successful comedians. It's just they got to just keep getting drunk and DMing <laughs> people about <laughs> wanting to get in this to comedy. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, it's it's because of Corona is why. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, that's why you know. The only otherwise, they would be popping. Otherwise, right they'd be on Comedy Central. Oh, right. They'd be, you know, I, I certainly we we have no idea what we're talking about. No, mm-hmm. um, you you definitely. Uh, <laughs> it's it's the it's the audience. There. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> so a workshop so, kind of show, and in fact, yeah, it would be good because then they can actually tell us their opinions. No, they can just be shaking with rage seeing us miss after right. miss. Mm-hmm. You know? But we'll get some constructive feedback. Yeah, we could get some notes. Mm-hmm. I love the notes. Mm-hmm. Oh, baby, when you fuck my house, you make my pussy go fast. Oh, we wanted to see a show with Shakira? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, from the grave. Yeah. <laughs> Who's, who do you think I'm doing? Oh, I thought that was Regis. <laughs> oh, yeah, we went to see Shakira. <laughs> And I tell you, I thought she was black. <laughs> when we get there, she's maybe Italian. It's just like the old days. <laughs> Back when the Italians were apes. <laughs> <laughs> when I had to pretend I wasn't half Albanian. <laughs> fucking rest in piss. Yeah, that's yeah. what I say. So you to that fucking scum. scum. That Balkan scum. Although, R.I.P. to the prince. Alex Trebek. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He was Albania? No. I'm weird. Uh, that, I'm <laughs> mad that we did that riff about him after Sean Connery died. And then, and then he died. And then he died. Yeah. Because that's going up. It probably really hurt his feelings. Oh, it hasn't yeah. gone up yet? No. Oh. That's hilarious. Or maybe it has. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. We should make an official statement. I have, I have no idea what episodes are. <laughs> yeah, there's a computer yeah. that's deciding at random which episodes well, are going it's, up. We don't even... What we did was me, Nick, and Adam all talked for 10 hours separately, and an algorithm puts these together now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty nice. We it's don't kind have of to a bot. Ever. Yeah. yeah, so they got an algorithm. Is that it? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. all right. Biden. That's how you'd say yeah. it. Algorithm. 
That's how he said. The algorithm. The algorithm is good. Yeah, you slurred it. Yeah. yeah. You know what he's it got is? He's an algorithm. He's almost completely, every instant, he's so close to just falling into being a dementia old guy. Yeah. And he's mm. f- clawing back. The beginnings of the words is where it's like, they're oh, pumping. You got to find a perfect button. <laughs> a perfect, perfect. There you go. Mm-hmm. Perfect <laughs> victory. Perfect victory. <laughs> Joe, we want Joe. Algorithm. Perfect victory. See, that's the computer talking. Yeah, that mm-hmm. was the computer. Mm-hmm. We're doing a sound. It is board. so funny. I'm going to find I'm gonna do Biden word by word. You should, bro. But I'll get there. I believe in you. Biden. Hunter. Hunter. <laughs> I don't think he says the name in public. He says, my beautiful son. He says, son. my beautiful son. My yeah. beautiful son. <laughs> that was great. He smokes crack. Beautiful was great. My beautiful son. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Beautiful son. <laughs> Kamala yeah. Vagina. <laughs> Kamala no, Vagina. Says Kamala, doesn't he? Kamala Vagina. Vagina. Is it Kamala? Is it's that Kamala. Oh, okay. You Presidential. Racist. Presidential. Uh-huh. Presidential. It's going to be so funny when she loses. Presidential. Because she has no swag despite being hot. <clears throat> she loses to Don Jr. I'm going to refill my coffee here. Yeah, go for it, man. Go for it. <clears throat> Isn't the coffee right there? It's right across the table. Yeah, we're working with a nice big cup, a nice one of those boxes of Dunkin' Donuts mm-hmm. coffee. Nick, Nick let me off for the day. He said, don't worry about he it, said, sweet He said, don't cheeks. worry, coffee bitch. We're going to make, we've got some Dunk, a big box of Joe. Don't worry about it. Dude. Don't worry about it. You find piece of. I miss working secretary. in an office that just catered things that didn't need to be catered. Had a big fucking thing of Dunkin' granola bars. Had a fucking espresso machine. Had cereal I just used to eat so much of. Mm. Shouts out to fucking. Shouts out to the child old child porn. Child porn <laughs> international. Yeah, I remember I was I w- used to go to that office and some like fucking black lady when I was in the kitchen. She was like, "Excuse me, do you work here?" Yeah. Yeah, because you, like, you. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this cereal coming out of your paycheck? I know. You have to like make sure that I'm. She went on to have an affair with the boss, I believe. Yeah, that makes wow. sense. Yeah, the she dude. There was something lady. about her that you could tell she was gonna do some. <laughs> no, there wasn't. Joe. There was a. There was some. <laughs> you could see it in her eyes, or maybe the area around it. Her skin, I think, is what. <laughs> no, they call that it. wasn't it. It was in her skin. I don't. It maybe it wasn't her. They say, I, I don't have enough melanin mm. to be black. Well, I'll tell you, black is, it's not about the color of your skin, pal. It's about whether or not you're going to use a certain word. <laughs> That's and right. And I promise <laughs> I will use the word every day that I'm present. <laughs> not in public. <laughs> I'll wake up and I'll say it with a soft day <laughs> to my wife. John, what's her name? Dr. Jill. Dr. Phil. <laughs> my wife from the Dr. Phil show. Come over here and suck my penis, Joe. Well, when I look over, a big joke in our house is I look over at my wife and I say, you are not the father, just like her from her TV show. <laughs> now, why wouldn't you give me head, Joe? Mm-hmm. That's Dr. Phil. Yeah, that's pretty good. Thank you. Mm-hmm. It'd be Adam, funny if Doctor, Dr. Phil tried to do like a Mari thing and he would bring on like black couples and he'd be like, why are you not paying child support? <laughs> he's like, uh, we're, mar- we're married to each other. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, it's, uh, you got to stop being a deadbeat father and take care of your kids. <laughs> like, I'm, a associate, I'm a professor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, uh, it's just, I don't even know how we got on this we, show. Yeah, we're not sure. You, you we just answered yeah. uh, well, I have the results right here. <laughs> just, results for what? <laughs> and it's just, just like that, that drawing of the, the racist cartoon, the black guy with the cell phone, <laughs> <laughs> where the, all the words are like, gabba gabba big snooty. <laughs> you know that racist? I don't know that one. <laughs> that's, that's an old racist. It? <laughs> yeah, it's, a, what, it's a picture of the ad. <laughs> You used to see it, you'd go online, you'd go on 4chan, you'd see the picture. <laughs> this guy with a big... Yeah, big nose and lips. Oh, I see. That genre. Mm-hmm. Is it similar to the racist Jewish one where it's the guy with a really big nose clasping his hands? Yeah. They're, 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 I think that's a, that one's been around. This one. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, that's yeah. very racist. That's quite racist. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Jesus laughs> it, it looks like that one's from an age where cell phones existed. Yeah. The, 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 the money lender one is, I think that's yeah, but, you know. centuries. 
Sure. I think that's that's from maybe the early 20th century. Mm. Mm, I don't know. It's, it had a modern flair to it. You think so? Yeah. I think this is from Mad Magazine. <laughs> <laughs> back when uh, <laughs> back when they were still <laughs> kooky. What the fuck? So Mad Magazine has nothing to do with Mad TV? Um, I mean, it's like the same brand. But there's a Speaking of brands. I love, which I love. Something that yeah. I love. Um, let me take a look here. It's just... I'm really excited about because she dreams. Oh, oh dude, yeah. tell me the fuck about it. You know what I what I could not stop thinking about today is uh, let me see uh, uh, smokable CBD. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, it's really high, it's high really quality on, CBD. Yeah, it's really been on my mind lately. Mm-hmm. Is the uh, yeah is I really can't. I'm so excited about... And uh, me too, by the way. I'm, I'm at the same level as you. Yeah, I've about, been feeling that way too. Oh, about um, smoke a little flower. Uh, it's, uh, California and California Oregon. California and Oregon. Yeah. Yep. Lab and... In well, lab. My, part is, my favorite part is that it's lab. A lot of people proof. have Georgia on their mind. A lot of people have Georgia on their mind for racist reasons. <laughs> victory. A victory. <laughs> a victory. Joe, why don't room. you smoke some CBD out of my ass? Georgia. 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 <laughs> Sounds a little drunk. It's good that drunk. you need a little piece of that. Yeah. No, he doesn't drink, dude. He's a, it's his stutter. Yeah, it's his stutter. <laughs> it's his stutter. <laughs> he uh, like got mad at his boys for getting drunk at his bachelor party. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, he's a herb. What? He's not, yeah. He in like the drink? 60s, yeah. He did, did he ever do drugs? Well, I don't think he likes them getting too, too, re- too, too throat. That's why C- Hunter. Cussie James is one. That's of why the, Hunter Cus- went. Cussie James is one of the best ways to, when I smoke it, I feel, I, they say there's no drugs in there, but I, I get so fucked up. <laughs> I can't weed, I can't think. Dude, I'm just twisted. Really? I get absolutely twisted off smokable CBD. Off smokable CBD from Cushy Dreams? (laughs) Fuck. Chill Uh, out, dude. Whoa, damn. I'm on a different planet right now, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude, we can see it. I can't even fucking... I can't can't even probably get a job without... Put your balls back into your onesie. I probably can't even get a job without some kind of form being filled (laughs) out by the state. Oh, so... So, yeah. Wait, let's... The joke is that... Cushy Dreams makes is so good it makes you retarded? No, it's that a retarded guy is smoking CBD and pretending to be high. And ah, so, No, no, yeah, no, I'm not retarded. I'm, I'm high. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> no, it's real weed. <laughs> you get, you're, yeah, no, I'm just high off fucking weed. <laughs> And everyone's like, um, this is actually high quality cushy dreams. Yeah, it does smokable. has no THC in no, it. No, no, I'm definitely I'm CBD. definitely I'm just high. That's <laughs> that's fucking <laughs> yeah, A B C that's all I got. I can't <laughs> you, you wash me on that one, it's because of the, the guns. I'm so, so messed up of guns. Oh, As if he smoked you know, if he smoked full power weed, then right. it's like then he would be, you know forget about come it. all the way back around to Elon Musk. That's right, that's right. The that's smartest what, that's man. One of the that's world. what yeah. Flowers of Algernon was about. Mm-hmm. Like a fucking retarded guy yeah. who smokes weed. Actually I uh, have uh, Down syndrome. <laughs> And uh, I smoked so much weed that uh, I went past uh, being retarded <laughs> all the way to uh, being a, a, a millionaire genius. Is he a genius? No. Oh, no, he's, right? he's, he's incredibly smart. Well, I don't know if he's a, a, a stupid, but... Hey, I'm smarter than him. Yeah. Elon I'm smarter Musk. than that guy. That guy that that guy that's life is much better than mine. I I've I certainly am not just figuring out a way to construct a alternate reality in which I'm doing better than him. Hey man, I honestly his life sounds worse than mine, honestly. Um, in terms of all the work you'd have to do. Yeah. We come here, we barely do any bullshit. It's we barely yeah, work. Yeah, my job doesn't end, dude. I I like take the files. I go through every syllable. That's true. I, I listen to the Biden impression over and over again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people, they really don't. They think I don't work at all. Do you, do you sit in your apartment for hours saying the word victory over and over again? <laughs> uh, victory. And it, say, and take to get yourself to that. Was that you or Biden? That's that was me. Good. Wow. That's awesome. That sounded like Biden. And it fell apart after that. But right, that's, but. that was the best one. <laughs> <laughs>
A victory. That's really good. Yeah. And you know, a victory. You know, it'd be a really big. It's not close when I do it now. I don't know what it is or something. You, just, you were in the. You had it in the ether. A victory. Uh-huh. Pretty good. Better. Yeah. A victory. A victory. Too much old man in the last one. A victory. It's good. A victory. <laughs> Am I there? You're, yeah. <clears throat> you know, it would be a smokable really, flower. <laughs> that's right. You know, it would be a really big victory. Would be to go to cushydreams.com. Mm-hmm. I'm going to read the, the, the ingredients to this shit. K U S H Y dreams.com. Put in the promo code Cometown and get 20% off your first order or any order. Maybe first. The point is, if you want to smoke your CBD, because you got it. Smoke your smooth CBD because you can. Because you can. And that's a really big... Rickery. 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 <laughs> Where the fuck is the copy? Here we go. All right. <clears throat> Coaster Dreams offers a full lineup of premium smokable CBD that specializes in extraordinary <laughs> CBD-rich hemp flower... A.K.A. Bud and pre-roll CBD joints. I love that, Joe. Mm-hmm. Join a group of adults who are sick of vapes and gummies and want to smoke. I'm not their a baby. CBD. I'm the, the. I'm not a fucking little bitch. I want to smoke my CBD. The primary talking points it looks like high quality mar- mar- marijuana, which you want to ban. It feels like high quality marijuana, and it tastes like high quality marijuana. Mm-hmm. CBD content is up to 20%. No disability in the highest of the game. <laughs> <laughs> the attention to there detail is noticeable. <laughs> on a beautiful flower. <laughs> Smoking your CBD is the most efficient. <laughs> oh, he'd be good we for forgot, cabinet. We forgot yeah. about cabinet. Yeah. Cabinet of Secretary of State of Robert Urban Williams. Affairs. Of it does urban not urban get <laughs> you high. <laughs> yeah, housing and urban, and development. urban development. Yeah. Robin Williams is black. Uh, preacher character uh, independent lab testing uh, so that's Nick Nolte nice yeah. <laughs> independent lab testing uh, shows uh, compliance and uh, purity uh, it's called in uh, California and fucking Oregon uh, each plan is uh, hand selected by a group of <laughs> a whole bunch of uh, I guess scientists uh, <laughs> the cannabis flower experts uh, but uh, yeah, I was trying to I was trying to dial in Nolte too. That's yeah, good. The other night, bouncing mm-hmm. back and forth between Nolte and Nolte Biden. Nolte and Biden. Because you do Nolte, it gives you a little bit of rasp. Mm-hmm. Get you in the Biden zone. Just uh, to uh, as uh, I was his lawyer, I defended him after he he fucked me in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, you defended him against yourself. Yeah, that's Cape the Cape Fear word. He okay, was, yeah. He was. Uh, I was a public defender assigned to his case. But I was also the victim. He fucked me in my ass. <laughs> wow. Wait, is that what happens in Cape Fear? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Uh, counselor, you were supposed to re- represent me, counselor. And just because I fucked you in the ass. <laughs> who's both the victim and the attorney for I the, want the What was I supposed to do? He fucked me in the ass. That's not how the law works. Wouldn't he? Yeah. They res- no, that's, another guy? That had, that's exactly what happened. Nick Nolte's, yeah, what's his name? Robert De Niro rapes a girl, and Nick Nolte was suppre- is his public defender, and he suppresses evidence that the girl was promiscuous. Mm. Because like you know he beat him up or she he beat the girl up so bad so Max Katie does fifteen years in jail and then he gets out and he wants revenge on the prosecutor because he spent his time. But in he prison. did rape her, didn't he? Uh, yeah, he did. Oh, so who cares? Yeah, and Nick Nolte does. I mean, he just didn't do his job right. I see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So then Robert De Niro goes to jail yeah. for thirty years. I can out fight <laughs> you practicing his out southern smoke accent. Smoke CBD <laughs> weed, you. Yeah, <laughs> he practices a southern accent for thirty years and reads books and, and he gets does pull ups. Right, I got three lines: uh, private reserve, uh, ultra premium, and uh, premium. That's awesome. Every yeah. can size is uh, three three and a half grams. You can uh, my nitrogen sealed. I don't see my no fucking ever. It says fucking shit out of it. <laughs> fucking piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like mostly what that movie. And then he's cheating on his wife too. Oh, nice. And then so <laughs> Robert De Niro uh, rapes the woman that he's cheating on his Whoa. wife with and bites off a piece of her face. What the fuck? Yeah, it's pretty That's wild. Badass. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's badass. I would say it's. I just can't bad. go to the cops. The They're gonna find out I was having an affair. 
Oh, so that's the why perfect he crime. No. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't go to the cops. Who's the wife in that? It's Jane Fonda. Uh, uh, that sounds right. Did Jane? Was how how many movies was she in? I, I know her mostly is doing exercise. All dogs go to heaven. Um, all dogs go to heaven. And too. being like anti-Vietnam, that's her two claims to fame. Someone told me a a very perfect crime recently. Tell, hit me with it's it. a it's like a kind of a dorm room prank, right? But yeah, hold on. Uh, oh yeah, promo code. Yeah, why don't, why don't we focus down? on doing our goddamn job? Well, I thought we did it. We didn't do it. We didn't finish a fucking. We didn't finish a fucking job. <laughs> Every pre-roll is one gram. <laughs> just say the fucking promo code. Just say the code. I, I'm done, trying to find it. We've done enough. <laughs> promo code CUMTOWN for 20%. That's right. CushyDreams.com. All right, cash Relax. That. Anytime hybrid. Uh, I do piece. fuck with, I honestly do literally fuck with uh, Cushy Dreams. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I do be smoking that CBD. I day. like yeah. the hustle. No, I guess you. I, I'm actually fucked up on weed. Is not I, I can. I speak fine. <laughs> <laughs> A victory. <laughs> Algorithm. What's the perfect crime, Adam? Oh, uh, it's kind of like a dorm room prank. You piss in a cookie sheet. Mm. Like, and then you freeze it. Mm. And then you slide it underneath someone's door. That is pretty good. And actually. then it melts into a puddle. I wouldn't of piss. say it's a perfect crime because you get caught still. Well, you can't get caught because you didn't open the door, you know? Oh, I see. Yeah, it's like that uh, riddle where someone kills themselves with an icicle, right? But then it melts. Or someone stabs someone with an icicle. Or I remember one, there was what one day, that riddle? me and uh, Dana were hanging out, like, uh, this was 10 years ago, probably. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was just, like, just brutally hungover. And, Hell yeah. And just... Uh, like her, her like apartment at the time. They had some like sunroom. I forget. It was a nice day. Just like I couldn't move. Right. And then just eating croissants in Hell the sunroom. Yeah. And I like I guess she started like looking up like riddles on her phone. I don't know where that came. <laughs> from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But one of them was uh, what's what's a crime you can get arrested for attempting but not completing or committing suicide, right? Uh, well, that was the answer, but someone had responded, killing every police officer. <laughs> <laughs> that's really good. Which is a much better answer. Yeah, that's, that's a really much better good. answer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you can't get arrested for attempting suicide? Yeah, you can. What? Mm-hmm. No, you can't. Adam has riddles memorized, mm-hmm. just in case. State capitals no. and riddles. <laughs> State capitals, let's go. The little, the little stinker personality kid. <laughs> it's the worst kind of person yeah. to be. Yeah, we agree. But what? what how would you get arrested for committing suicide? I'm going to do that. I'm going to put a book suicide. together called The Little Stinker Personality Kid. Oh, I have so much to contribute. All the state capital, yeah. I have so much to contribute. The Adam book. I watched uh, uh, Bright Lights, Big City the other night. What's and that, that about? That guy reminds me of you, Adam. Which what what's Michael J. Fox, his oh, character. Yeah. What's Bright Lights Big City about? It's about a guy that's kinda like a loser and <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> he's just doing cocaine all the time and lives in New York and he's got a bunch of cool friends. Oh that's, oh, awesome. that's that is, how big yeah. is his dick? But it's like uh it's really small. He's dating a model and she leaves him. Oh that is like man. and uh and then he like can't deal with it. <laughs> And, is that uh, really the movie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he like fancies himself a writer, but he can't. He doesn't. He's write illiterate. He, he never yeah. gets any writing sounds, done. Uh, sounds pretty much like <laughs> he never <laughs> gets any writing done. He just sits in his apartment and then goes out and does cocaine. That sounds pretty good. And then, that sounds uh, good. And then at the end of the movie, he gets drunk and embarrasses himself, and then just like while still fucked up, cruises along like the west side and pretends like there's some voiceover indicating that like his writer's block is gone but the things he's saying are like incredibly trite and bad and uh mm-hmm. really just terrible writing this is michael j fox yeah it's probably the worst writing in the movie it's like that closing like uh internal monologue is for it michael supposed j. Fox to be bad well he eats bread no it's supposed to, the movie that's supposed to be it's, like it's a yet another triumphant like, it's a yet a, yet another like self-centered kind of boomer movie yeah but it, it there's like a slight self. I mean, it's tragic, you know. So it's not like mm-hmm. big chill where you don't really give you a shit about that guy who clothes. died. Yeah. 
I saw The Pope of Greenwich Village, which is a pretty funny movie. Mm. It's pretty, like, it seems like it's... Just, hey, everybody, it's me, The Pope. <laughs> <laughs> it's here I come. <laughs> You're a saint. You're a saint. Angel wings for everybody. <laughs> We're all going to wear wings. <laughs> And fuck each other in the ass. That sounds like heaven. Mm-hmm. To me. Welcome to Vatican Three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, it's Mickey Rourke before his. What did he do? Get plastic surgery? Yeah, a lot. Mm-hmm. Dude, he was like a. He was so cute. He was a cute guy. Yeah, yeah. he was handsome. Um, and his voice was like, his voice was really like kind of high pitched. He's a totally different guy. Yeah, yeah. his voice. No, blah, blah, blah. It but, really fucked me yeah. up seeing him. Yeah, in Diner, he's really cute. And he, he's really cute. And he has like a really like soft, hi, like higher pitched voice. But the Pope of Greenwich Village is so the guy what is it, Eric Roberts, you guys know that movie? Yeah, Julie Roberts' brother. Is that really your brother? Yeah. The guy who played the mobster in the in the Dark Knight? Yeah. So he's young as fuck, and they gave him like a jerry curl to look Italian. Cool. And uh, Mickey Rourke also plays the Italian. But the movie makes no sense because they act like mobsters, but they're just Fucking unemployed, you know, Dagos. And well, I'll tell you what they can do is they can put on a pair of Mack Weldon underwear. <laughs> oh, you're, oh, really? Uh, they can go ahead and put on a pair of Mack Weldon underwear. Yeah. Underwear. Yeah, underwear. Underwear. Under, underwear. They underwear. used to wear underwear on the outside of your pants and they called it overalls. Mm. And it was big and blue and made out of jeans. Mm-hmm. And then they got rid of that because it was racist. Mm, interesting. And they said it was racist. Mike, I, I wrote the 1994 crime bill on the inside of a pair of dungarees <laughs> and shit. Mm-hmm. Back then, we didn't have pens. You had to write everything in your pants. In your own shit. You had to let a turd poke out of it, your asshole and write. Just a little bit like a just pen. Just a little bit like a mechanical pencil. <laughs> <laughs> they used to call me Scrawling Joe Crazy Pants because I, I had an asshole like a mechanical pencil. <laughs> I let a, a, you'd, you'd I, basically you'd, you'd put a, a cock in my mouth and then click oh, down really? a couple of notches. <laughs> turd would come out of my ass. So the cock oh, would wow. push the turd out. That's through a your good mouth. visual. Mm-hmm. We all remember the game you play, take a mechanical pencil, you press it out all the way, you put it on your arm and hold the eraser, like pretend like hair. you were doing drugs. Yeah. yeah. But the difference was is I was doing drugs for real. <laughs> I was in third grade shooting dope. Oh, really? I was the first guy. I took it from the Chinese. <laughs> I was, it was opium back then. I was then. the first guy in Delaware to, to, back in Scranton. <laughs> in Scranton, Delaware, they doing doing Chinese opium. Now let me ask you, why was it a cock? Why didn't you put like a a popsicle oh, or opium. A banana? <clears throat> opium, opium, opium. Interesting. Opium. Fuck. <clears throat> what does he sound like? So why is he so elusive? J- so Joe, when you were shitting in your Where pants, is he? Where is Joe? When you were shitting in your pants, did you have special why underwear? Can't you dial it in? <laughs> why can't you do this? <laughs> You'll get it, buddy. Why can't you fucking do this? No, stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting it's yourself. Because, hitting it's myself. because you're God's God. It's because you're gay. No, that's not it. Yes, dude. Stop. Stop. Wait. Mack Weldon the underwear is the only gay, underwear God. that you can wear um, all the way all the way to the bank. All the way to the bank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's only a pair of underwear you can, you can wear. all the way to the you bank. You can wear a pair of underwear, underwear you can wear all the way to the bank. Mm. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. This is going to be the next four years of this podcast. <laughs> All right. Trying to get closer. The ratings. I feel like I finally know how to do Trump now that he's almost gone. Wow, dude. Trump, like, wasn't an easy one. He is. He's very easy. He's People really easy. thought he's hard to get I feel like perfect. At the, at the 11th. You know. <laughs> at the 11th hour, there was one guy that did a really good one. That he's there. In there's LA. plenty of guys. That there's plenty of guys that do him perfect. That was he's an I easy guess. impression, but I, for whatever reason, I could never do him. Yeah, I guess there are a couple. There's a. I couldn't do it, Tony. Guy. He's difficult. He's very tricky. For me, it wasn't easy. <laughs> yeah. But that's like more like younger Trump. I feel like. There's like an old guy element to Anyways, his voice. Let's too. just Whatever. talk about this Look, the thing underwear. is, when you put the underwear in your pussy and in your asshole, it feels uh, awesome. You got to put the underwear on your fucking pussy. Yeah, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah you just, just, just go ahead and put the underwear in your fucking pussy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> ah, hell, just go ahead and put it. Just in there. ball it up, put it in your pussy. You'll feel fresher than a daisy. We guarantee that's the Mac Weldon guarantee. Mm-hmm. They're good for wearing. They're also good for keeping your pussy dry. Or if you're trans and you don't have a dildo handy, you could ball up a pair of Mac Weldons, mm-hmm. put them in your new pussy, keep it nice and open. They're antimicrobial. They're antimicrobial, right, so they're so not going to smell bad. Sick. They're, 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 no one's going to caulk your office mm-hmm. if you have Mac Weldon stuffed up your new pussy. Their antimicrobial, their silver line of underwear is antimicrobial. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's free silver, too. You can, that's And if so times are tough, you can fucking melt tough. the underwear down and get the silver and sell that. Yeah, the, Listen, and got, silver is <clears throat> the new standard. I when think. I got HIV, I knew I had to get special underwear. And mm. make, sure that, <laughs> <laughs> make sure that I didn't transmit the virus to any of the women I was having unprotected sex with. <laughs> oh, so Charlie. Mac, I didn't know Mac Weldon was gonna, can stop AIDS mm-hmm. from spreading. It's uh, tig- I think it tiger can. blood. <laughs> it's naturally uh, antimicrobial. We're not positive about that, but it's a good chance that Mack Weldon stops AIDS. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not sure. That's not one of the selling points, but probably. Well, how about me, Indian guy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Put him in the cabin. I'm one of the most perfect <laughs> impression <laughs> is Indian guy. <laughs> All the way from <laughs> downtown India. <laughs> <laughs> Coming at you all the way live. What from, do you think of Mac Weldon's Mr. I Indian cannot guy? wait to wear it with my pair of sandals. <laughs> <laughs> the pair of sandals. So just underwear and a pair of sandals. Oh my God, I can't wait to wear it to the doctor's office. Wow. Do I can't wait to wear it. Uh, but well, the doctor's Park office and uh, be in uh, the Apple commercial. <laughs> uh, my name is Brazil, and I learned English. Brazil, um, Jeff Goldblum, like, from <laughs> watching Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> this is, this, I like this character. <laughs> There's uh, something about this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I learned all my English. So from Brigitte, the Indian guy the that Prejude, talks like uh, Prejude. 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 I can't wait to shove English at my eyes. <laughs> That's uh, they awesome. They believe in smart design, premium fabrics, and simple shopping. Talk That's about awesome. Your experience, how easy it was, how great a product it is. Mac Weldon is the most comfortable underwear, socks, <laughs> underwear, scissors, and sweatpants, and more than you'll ever wear. Wow. Wow. Um, they want you to be comfortable, so if you don't like your first pair, you can keep it. They'll still refund you, no questions asked. Hell yeah. Not only does it look good, it performs well, too. It's good for working out, going to work, going on dates, just everyday life. Mm, getting pussy? Personal experience must include the host's personal experience with the product. For example, what did you buy? How easy was it to use a website? Which project is your favorite and why? What kind of activities did you do while wearing a new Mac Weldon clothing? Mm. Let me stop you there. Nick got his ass fucked. While wearing the pool, a hoodie. He was wearing them, though. That's yeah. not fucking true. <laughs> yes, it's it a is. fucking lie. Yes, it is, Nick. Nicholas Pantoliano. And, yeah, but Joey Underpants here. <laughs> Joey Underpants Leano. Oh, wow. Joey Underpants Leano. <laughs> That's yeah. good. You know, growing up in Newark, everybody was gay. <laughs> Uh-huh. You have to you had to wear a scarf down the corner to get to have gay sex with guys. <laughs> <laughs> really? I watched some interview with him. You the, sent me that. That was about fucking the, yeah, so weird. Really like talking about the Matrix and he's like, you know, I didn't understand the movie at all. <laughs> <laughs> he just had like no idea what was going on. Oh, you sent me another one. First of all, he's dr- he dresses hysterical now. Yeah. All, all actors do. He's like a backwards Kangol guy, no? No, yeah. he's gone to the next level. He's wearing like weird bowlers and like mm-hmm. like purple He's glasses. steampunk? Sort of, yeah. yeah I'll tell sure. you what, I went to Mack Weldon because they, they, and I got the, um, I just wear their, like, their daily jerseys. Mm-hmm. They got nice underwear, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was looking at... Yeah, you, uh, Nick's wearing them right now. His cock looks huge. Mm. Hey, wait a second, he's taking them off. His dick is, Much I can't even smaller. see it. Mm-hmm. So there's something about Mack Weldon. Well, it's barely a dick now. Yeah. But hold on, he's putting them back on. Massive. Wow. Juicy. My ass is drooling mm-hmm. thinking about that thing. Mm-hmm. 
So that's they're, the they're, kind of underwear stuff. Underwear so nice it stops gay now. <laughs> yeah. That, and if that isn't a personal experience <laughs> testimonial, I, yeah. I don't know what is. If if you've never heard of something, if you've was it Brando? Yeah, you have to. Yes. Yeah. You have to, did you watch the Connie Chung interview? I did you it? watch your mouth? All right, never speaking. <laughs> Damn, what he got your ass. <laughs> Marlon Brando got your ass, yeah, that's Adam. that's true. He's one of the greatest I was about to say also. something. And you could... We should do that during... I'm trying to share my personal experience. <laughs> we should do that in between apps. <laughs> For 20% uh, off your fuck. first order, visit MacWeldon.com and enter promo code CUMTOWN20. I check love out. it. I love that. CUMTOWN20. Um, yeah, if you don't like the underwear, you can complain and they'll refund you. You can keep the underwear, no question. I might yeah. go fucking buy some underwear. I was, nice, dude. I, I gotta, like, I, honestly, I've been trying to get more, but they've like they're they've like I guess had some kind of stock shortage thing. Mm. I I I was looking for new sweatpants, and I went on a list of best sweatpants, and Mac Weldon's consistently on all of wow. those lists. Wow, I have to say, you this hear is, that, folks? Yeah. Don't listen to me. Listen to gentlemen. Are you sure you weren't quarterly. looking for a dress to wear? No, I wasn't looking for a dress. He was looking for a dress. <laughs> it was a gift. It was, it was for a gift. Wow. It was for a gift. So that's so you were getting sweatpants for, for somebody, dress. but you were looking for dresses for yourself. He yeah, was so looking for a dress to wear to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, getting all dolled up to go to the bathroom to have gay sex. Adam yeah. putting on lipstick, doing his nails. You should have seen it. You should have seen it. It was one of the funniest things I've ever no, seen. I like to get gussied up. You know how he is. He goes in there and he kisses guys. He kisses guys. You should see the way he kisses them. What is this, Cosby Trump? I don't know. I'm so far gone. Victory. Victory. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, go co co promo code Comtown twenty. Nice. That's Mo- honestly, you're right. Th- that sounds like straight up Joe Biden. Yeah, <clears throat> but yeah, the Pope of Greenwich Village. First of all, Eric Roberts, his plays it so over the top, it's hilarious. But also, Mickey Rourke is just a deadbeat, unemployed Italian man. I'll be right back. That's fine. I'm talking about the Pope of Greenwich Village. Well, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll continue. Have you seen the Pope of Greenwich Village? No, I haven't. So he's just a fucking... He has no job. He's got a kid already that he doesn't pay mm-hmm. for. He's in debt. He says... He claims that he has two shy locks to feed, which I don't know exactly what that means. It's, I, think I it's guess, a money lender. I think exactly. Yeah. He owes money. So yeah. he's got two shies to feed. And... Uh, but yeah, Eric Roberts is like his fucking cousin who always... Who gets him fired... And always fucks his life up. Oh, he's a the a bad cousin. Yeah, yeah, Paulie. Mm-hmm. And uh, and um, who made it? I don't know. It's a fun movie, but yeah, it's I gotta kinda, watch it. It's kind of fucking stupid, but you it was got- a fun watch. But anyway, he's he gets Daryl Hannah pregnant. Oh, and a hot piece of ace, if I do say so myself. Mm-hmm. And she's like, he gets fired, and she's like. Why don't we just... I could pick up some extra shifts. You could get a job as a waiter. He's like, I'm not going to be no fucking waiter. <laughs> uh, he's like, "How? what the fuck do I look like being a fucking waiter? Yeah. And she leaves him. And he hits her. And then she leaves him. Mm-hmm. And, uh, um, and he basically chooses this woman who loves him and is willing to do anything. He chooses to instead just hang around Greenwich Village with his stupid fucking... A uh, cousin mm-hmm. who almost gets them killed by and have to fight the mafia. He has to like fight a mob boss instead, instead of, of just having an honest girlfriend. life with a hot ass woman. Yeah. And it basically reads like anti Italian propaganda. Like it re- he's supposed to be sympathetic, but he's just a real big piece of shit. Mm-hmm. But I guess that is the Italian way. If you had your choice between a beautiful blonde, you know, uh, wasp, yeah, or to kiss your male cousin on the lips. It's crazy. I just went to the bathroom and while I was in there... Um, You're Mac Weldon? No, I, I uh, thought about my book at Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> it just popped into my head. <laughs> I started thinking about it. <laughs> really? A sports betting website. That's awesome. I was actually just mm-hmm. thinking about that too and how I would love a good place to continue to bet yeah. and win mm-hmm. a lot of money. Did you see that sports? guy that lost $27,000 betting on the election at mybookie.ag and he like sent the customer service an email demanding a refund because of the, the election? Cheating? Because it was cheating. That's yeah. awesome. Uh, I hope he does not get it. Mm-hmm. 
because that's just a bad beat and you got to take that, brother. Yeah. That's funny. That's actually the first guy I ever heard of in my life losing money on mybookie.ag. Yeah, he's yeah. probably pretty much because the only it's, person. It's basically the only person. Yeah. Because this is a website that you bet your money and you will always win. Mm-hmm. Guaranteed. You will never lose. You'll so, always make money. You'll always make money. In the long run, if you're smart, you'll always make money. Mm-hmm. Unless you... Uh, Unless you you bet um, on Donald Trump winning, the that's election. true. Which everybody keeps messaging me. I can't find the hat. Adam, did you take the hat back? No, yeah. you, it's at your house. Wait, what it's was literally the, not? What was the what was the bet? That he has to eat, eat his that. hat. I'm going to eat that. Hat. Oh, I said, said Biden Trump was going to. I said mm-hmm. Biden will win, and he said if he does. That's what you said. You were I'll eat. Your hat I'll eat my hat, and then he said he described the hat that he. No, stole I remember. From I remember yeah. exactly. I remember that hat. Which Adam? Why don't you tell the story about how you got that hat? Um, I, how did I get it? <laughs> oh, I was, uh, I was a truck PA for a indie film and someone left it in the truck mm-hmm. when I moved to New York. Yeah, that's what it was. What, what do you think it was? You, you didn't take it from your friend from, uh, Norway? No, I don't know anyone Yeah, from you Norway. did, dude. That's, <laughs> you absolutely did. You told me you did. <laughs> you fucking stole that hat from somebody else. Well, that, that, to, now, to be fair, Nick, that two wrongs don't make a right. You don't get to steal from Adam because he stole from some Norwegian poor fucking Mama Luke that trusted Adam. Mm-hmm. You stole from your own <laughs> friend. But to be fair, Nick, that makes you know better than Adam. Yeah, you stole from, you stole your, from best your friend. You stole from your friend. From your best friend and husband. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to eat the hat. I'm just, I got it. You got it. You're not going to eat the hat. I and I would if I it was still in my closet. I don't want to eat the hat. I want the hat I'm, back. That's why I'm going to eat it. We could share the hat. <laughs> that's why I'm eating it. You got to find a deal that benefits benefits everybody. Yep. That does it. Everybody it benefits me for sure. Everybody gets a a piece of the hat. We're going to cut it up and we're all going to eat it. I wonder okay. what kind of odds my bookie is putting on Donald Trump winning 2024. That would be that's fun. That's smart money. That's right a fun there. hundred bucks to throw down. And forget about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A little, mm-hmm. little uh, Grover Cleveland action. Yeah. Right. But the thing people don't remember about that election is that uh, Grover Cleveland went up against Teddy Roosevelt, Chester A. Arthur, and Chester A. Arthur was gay. I mm-hmm. thought Teddy Roosevelt split the vote or something. Or no, wait, that's the other, the fat motherfucker. I don't know. Who mm-hmm. cares? Now that Alex Trebek is dead, there's no reason. No to reason to know no trivia. Shit. We'll yeah. never be. Why don't they them? give us Jeopardy? Wait, was Chester gay for real? One no, of them was. Yeah, I thought. Pe- I thought. Some guy named Pierce was gay. Buster H. Franklin Buster, Pierce? Buster, 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 Pierce Buster was gay. H. Chester. One of them had like one of his boys in the White House. And everyone says they fucked him in the ass. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. There is one gay president for yeah, sure. Yeah, Barack Obama. Uh, Walt Whitman. No, he's Walt just, Whitman was a gay president. He was a pedophile president. No, he's just president. a pedophile. Who went to like a fucking cabin and everyone fucking was like, ooh, big fucking deal. Mm-hmm. First of all, ev- all of life was living in a fucking cabin. What I didn't know is that Trump's the only president to ever be impeached, lose the popular vote, and only serve one term ever. Nice. Which that I guess rocks. that makes sense. That rules. dude, he hit the trifecta, baby. I mean, that makes you like imagine fucking up every aspect of becoming president and, and still, still be beating Hillary Clinton. Yeah. <laughs> I still did it. I did it. Mm-hmm. She's a cunt. I don't want to. I didn't say it. I didn't say. I didn't even say that she was a cunt, but she is. <laughs> it's fun seeing he he ate shit, better on that. but Hillary ate more shit. My book. That's why it's yeah. fun. MyBookie.ag. Mm-hmm. MyBookie.ag. What could I say my about bookie, MyBookie.ag? MyBookie. Without dot having the, the copy directly in front of me. Mm-hmm. <sighs> so much, honestly, that it doesn't even. It's uh, hard to start. Uh, let me count the ways. Yes, mm-hmm. Christopher. Christopher, Mister <clears throat> uh, Secretary of uh, State. You know your part eggplant. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. What is he? Fucking chat. What are you, Chinese? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's very it's funny that you'd say that to me, sitting there knowing full well that you're Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> that's his comeback? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm part black. Well, whatever your race is, is actually Jewish and Chinese. <laughs> So maybe you can tell me where your son Clarence is. So he thinks that Dennis Hopper is Jewish and Chinese. Yeah. Oh, I'm black. Well, you're fucking, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> is what you are, pal. 
Jewish and Chinese, there's a lot there's a lot of that combo running around. Oh mm. yeah, those guys are coming up heavy right now. Mm. Guys, I'm not worried about the guys. I mean the those people. Fucking dude. Yeah. Adam Adam Adam's hears gay. anything and he's like, Well guys <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking <laughs> That is that is lazy now. <laughs> that is lazy. But what? you know what? It's really that good. Is <laughs> that is very That's funny. the whole point of the show. It is very funny. Sometimes that those are the you best have attained ones. The laziest. And that one really that got one me. rocked. It was very funny. Let's hear let's hear more about how I I'm lazy. I, <laughs> no, I'm lazier, you know. Let's but. hear more about how I'm Damn, not doing my and job. He immediately defeated you. You're right, dude. I'm not pulling my weight. <laughs> I'm pulling. You're my right, weight. dude. I'm definitely dragging the show down. I'm not dragging <laughs> overall. I definitely fucking contribute I absolutely you, nothing to this show. I say guys, and then you the all I ask I of you, you gold is a, once every four years yes. I take a hat <laughs> and then eat it to produce further content for this show. Yeah, mm-hmm. Even my act of of uh, even my parasitic nature is ultimately something right. beneficial. That is to true. The group. From where I'm standing, as a guy who doesn't own the hat in yes. any way, shape, or form, Nick eating the hat is a big boon to me. That's the national and equilibrium. So Ways, he takes it from Adam to give to and me. And Ringo mm. always kept the time. Okay, right, yeah. he never beat out of time. It's, it's time right. to have gay sex. <laughs> <laughs> it's time. I'm looking oh. at the watch right now, and it says it's, it's time, time to pull your dick out. It's time to pull your dick out. <laughs> that was his in role. my mouth. <laughs> A lot of people. What's that like, line in fucking wrongfully accused? It's just like the Beatles said. She loves me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Beatles That's said right. it the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She loves me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the line where the woman—it's a new season. Antonio Brown is on the Raiders. Yeah, he's he's on the Bucks. He's, Tampa, he's on yeah. the Bucks. They lost big. What are they named football. after? Dollar Bills. Mm. Oh, that's my favorite team. Mm-hmm. It's actually it's uh, short for Buccaneers. What? <laughs> is there a team called the Dollars? Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I can like football anymore. Mm-hmm. Him being shocked that it's the Buccaneers. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it meant the dollars. <laughs> yeah, I don't. You're doing a, an annoying guy. <laughs> it's a Chinese guy. No, it's a Chinese. He's one of your guys. A half yeah. Jewish, half those Chinese guys, guy. Those guys are coming up. It's fucking. <laughs> those it's, guys uh, are coming it's up. Dennis Hopper in True Romance. <laughs> <That's right>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But to my point is because I'm straight. Mm-hmm. I'm saying I like that combo of half Jewish, half Chinese girl. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. hot. I haven't seen Clarence in years. Last time I saw him, we were getting lo mein latkes. Last time Clarence was here, we got lo mein, and then we ate a couple of pennies. (laughs) And I sent him on his way after taking the pennies back. Uh (laughs) After taking them out of his shit. (laughs) Clarence shows up here three weeks ago, says I need 32 cents. (laughs) I got my chopsticks out and pulled them out of my coin purse, handed it over to him. That was the last I saw Clarence. <laughs> that music. So you know, you're part eggplant. <laughs> I love this guy. Way, way, way penis. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Use promo code Cometown to suck my penis. Visit mybookieonline.com today. That's my book, that A-G. A-G. My bookie online today. That's M Y B O O K I E. And don't forget to use the promo code Cometown when creating your account. To Wait, is it online now? No, it's mybookieonline. Oh. The copy Go online there. to mybookie. Yeah, you can find them. They, they definitely owned that Donald Trump supporter. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He got fucking owned. Big time owned. It'll be kind of funny watching the alt right turn into. Like uh, resistance libs. Well, yeah, basically yeah. that 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 uh, the screaming woman at the inauguration. Yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, have. Yeah, yeah. Somebody somebody photoshopped a, uh, photoshopped a, 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 like a MAGA hat on that woman, mm-hmm. and that Ian Miles Ching Chong guy like <laughs> retweeted it, and he was like, "It's so sad that." the right has to like Photoshop pictures of the left to express their point. And it's like, yeah, that's because it's like, we're, it hasn't happened. We're going to, we'll have that lady. Of course, dude. That lady's going to happen. She's coming. Yeah. Although that initial lady was so good. Mm-hmm. Even when like <laughs> you're pissed that he won. Here's the like- thing too. This is all, it's all just bullshit anyways. It's not like really about fucking politics for most people. So just jump ship. Uh-huh, just yeah. pretend like, oh, of course I vote for Biden. If you're a Trump guy, just pretend you voted for Biden and uh-huh. you wanted him to win. That's what winners do. You know who would do that? Donald Trump. 
for sure. Hundred percent. You want to be you want to be more like Trump. The most Trump thing Trump could do right now is be like, I voted for Biden. Yeah, <laughs> I said he was going to win. The I whole time. told you so. <laughs> I was the one saying it. Of course, I have to. I got these people around me. They say, Oh, we gotta we gotta keep our jobs. I don't. <laughs> I'm rich. I'm rich. I'm ready for Trump News Network, dude. Yeah, TNN. It's gonna be sick. I'm I'm ready for him to be a judge on Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> <laughs> Just call the women pigs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you look like an absolute pig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's yeah, I mean it I I went from feeling like oh Joe Biden if he doesn't get like 90% it's a it's a fail to now thinking that it's a it's the most logical conclusion in terms of narrative to have like a mentally enfeebled man be oh, Donald yeah. Trump after these last four years Fuck to literally me. have America say we're going to choose a more retarded guy. Yep. It's it's very funny. It's very funny. I know. Plus Kamala, let's not forget. Mm-hmm. She's out there. She's out there with her family. I'm not the Working first person Uber. to give pussy in this office, <laughs> and I'm not going to be the last. <laughs> that guy Doug, though. Her- I may be the first person to make a pussy fart into the microphone, <laughs> but I will not be the last. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. I yeah. hope she for- put those pussy farts. And this is for everyone who thought they were going to be here and didn't make it. And she puts the microphone down towards her pussy. <laughs> <laughs> and then just see a uh, sea of women in blue. I'm yeah. still with her shirts. Like, yeah! Because <laughs> you know that's my pussy <laughs> farting. <laughs> We're we're uh, people. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> we're people in Astoria celebrating uh, Donald Trump's defeat. Yeah, big time. There were people were out off. on the streets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, not as much as Brooklyn, but yeah, yeah. it was popping off, dude. Even the, even the white ladies here were they were stoked. Oh yeah, they were really. Happy. I bet you a lot of guys got pussy they didn't deserve on election. People were taking Saturday. shots on the street. Yeah, in, around the corner from me, they were very happy about it. I bet you the pussy was flowing like fucking wine, dude. Mm-hmm. But I was feeling a little under the weather. I didn't get pussy out of respect for our president, Donald Trump. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna fuck until no, I'm January twentieth. The movie I was in came out finally. Nice. It did. Yeah. Vod. The uh, the beginning and end of my acting career. No, uh, dude. dude. You'll get some I stuff. Wanna, you're you're gonna you're a good actor. I don't know about that, but it definitely is fun. I can see why people like acting. Oh yeah. I guess I can talk about it now that the movie's out. Yeah. Because it's like they're not gonna I mean movie theaters are canceled. Yeah, that sucks. It really sucks. The way the movie you were in is rolled out is very little. What platform well, I mean, I'm barely in. I have like one or yeah, two. Yeah, but you would have been. You would have gone to like the premiere and shit. I Ooh. did. It was in, in Toronto. Oh, I went up to. Yeah. You went to the festival. To TIFF, yeah. No. But it's crazy because like you know, oh, it's nice that I can finally like talk about this thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because it was it was really it was yeah it was so much fun because like working in production when you're like on the truck or whatever and everyone's like, yeah, can you uh, lick my asshole? Real quick? <laughs> right. And you're like, I don't know. My tongue's still like dry from having to get all the dust off the lenses with it. Or <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever bullshit I had to do, yeah. which I'm exaggerating. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, we was just like, sat hey, can, in the truck. Can you, not, can you not double park the truck in a fire lane? I'm like, pff, pff. just because I'm some fucking, I'm the <laughs> yeah. lowest guy on the ladder, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, no, I'm a disabled, I don't work here. I'm a yeah. disabled person <laughs> trying to get into it. I'm a disabled firefighter. I need the hydro. But really, though, yeah, when you're like acting in a thing, everybody just kisses your ass. Yeah, when you're talent? Well, yeah, because they, ha- well, they, have- they have to call you that. It has to be yeah. built into your job title that you're good at. That you're right, talent. Right, right, right. Because yeah. like <laughs> the people that are very good at it are such like, you know, temperamental fucking like right. psychos that, you know. I know. It is really funny. Yeah. 
they have to you, like you, they just like to make sure that you don't have a meltdown and ruin the whole day for everyone. <laughs> right, 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 right. It's like a fucking it's baby. Like, yeah, it's like built in. Yeah, no, it's like being a baby. Yeah, it's like you get to go be a baby for a day. Mm-hmm. Totally, mm-hmm. and it's not hard. But yeah. Like it's 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 you hard. say like, the words. Yeah. Like it is hard to like get good at acting, whatever. But like in terms of physically taxing, like mm-hmm. you're just acting some shit out. Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess if you're the star or something, that's hard. But yeah. But if you just pop in for like a fucking scene, yeah, that's mm-hmm. awesome, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I think it's rocks. a pretty cool gig. Yeah, I really want to now. After doing that, I was like, man, if I could just be the guy at the beginning of every SVU, that's like, I tell you, I'll take the trash out next week. Yeah, mm-hmm. what the hell is this? A dead baby? <laughs> the hey, Mikey, get over here! I think this woman's been raped to death in the <laughs> elevator. <laughs> the first I think they, there's, yeah, there's a woman's pussy all ground up in the elevator gears. Hey, what the hell is this? I wanted a hot dog, boom, not boom, a guy's boom, cock boom, that got boom, chopped boom. off. Yeah. yeah, let me get a number two with the uh, sausage. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> it's a woman's breast flattened out <laughs> with cum all over it <laughs> from a suspect. <laughs> <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> boom, boom, my dick's fucking small. That's the thing, Elliot. They went to get a sandwich, and what they got instead was a little girl's pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's going around all the sandwich stops in Staten Island, changing all the sandwiches to little girl's pussy. <laughs> changing them all. <laughs> somebody, yeah. somebody done fucked me in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> my fellow Americans. Yep. The Muga Hadin have fucked me in my ass. <laughs> the Muga Hadin. The Muga Hadin have fucked me in my ass. <laughs> the Muga Hadin have fucked me in my ass. The Muga Hadin have fucked me in my ass. That's honestly my favorite fucking thing ever. Yeah. yeah. MyBookie.ag promo code come. Town That's right. For something where they match up to like a thousand bucks or something. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah it changes, but it's pretty cool, man. Yeah. It changes. It's a good deal. It changes every time. It's not the same thing. Oh, also, I should say the show in uh, Connecticut got canceled. The show is- in Connecticut is canceled. We'll just bang out all the plugs. Come dot town for shirts. If you want this podcast, our host is now doing a little switcheroo. Uh, sometimes the episode is gone or the podcast is inaccessible for a week. <laughs> right. Was it a week? I thought it was like two days. Nah, it was like four days. But uh, uh, yeah, because they're good guys. Like we do it with Shout Engine. Mm-hmm. And I like them, mm-hmm. but them is like four people, I think. Right. Um, so when like big shit like that happens and they're inundated with like messages, there's, you know, you just have yeah. to wait until it gets fixed. Um, but otherwise, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. Also, by oh, yeah. No, yeah. So if you want, if this show ever goes down again, the Patreon has a whole backlog. Yeah. Because it was really wild. People were like, I'm trying to listen to old episodes. I'm like, what? This is probably the nicest weather I've seen in my entire life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just, yeah, if you were on the East Coast and you messaged us about it being down. Yeah, go yeah. outside. That I mean, times are tough. Bro, you got to change your shit around. Your whole life is yeah. fucked up. Dude, I we uh, we went with me and Adam went with Will and Matt, and I guess I got it worse than the rest of them, but I was no, like dreading. I felt the same way. I was dreading what kind of like pain I'd be in. And uh, just fucking... I was sore from catch. That's yeah. awesome. That's yeah. hilarious. I was sore. I, el- I think <clears throat> I, got, I got like elbow tendonitis from yeah. throwing throwing a, a baseball like fucking 15 from times. From home run derby. Yeah. I was literally... I was Swing, yeah, swinging the bat. Anytime I would check swing, having to like stop the motion. Oh, like it just like in, in my fucking elbow, my shoulder, my yeah, hip. The shoulder. That's yeah. It was just killer. And it's weird because it's like, you know, you have this memory of like the, the muscle memory from when you're like a child of like doing these things. And also, too, just how like demoralizing it is to make contact with the ball and hit it as far as you did when you were eight years old. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just shallow yeah. left field. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> just a little a, blooper. Yeah. yeah. And it just feels like a home run. Yeah. I love the sound of the crack. Yeah. I'm horrible at swinging a bat, dude. I never did. I was scared of baseball, and it was an American-ass sport, so mm. I never really played it. My parents it. put me in baseball. But the peanuts and Cracker Jack. 
They put me in because they thought it was the more American sport and it's the less athletic sport. Mm-hmm. I wish I went into soccer. Well, that's what makes it more American is it's for everybody. Yeah. It's a game Bunch for of everybody. Fat guys. It's for fat guys. You can be fat. Prince you can be a, you can be a fat guy and play baseball. Remember right. David Wells? Of course. Everybody. Icon. Everybody. Legend. Is that? Everybody. We're pretty good. That's it. Pretty good. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody. Everybody in the club getting tipsy. Everybody in the club getting tipsy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we'll get it. Oh, also, I want to say that's so cute, by the time Adam. this comes We'll out, get it. Yeah, we'll get it <laughs> together. I'm part of this. <laughs> I'm part of this. By the time uh, this comes out, don't erase 2021 <laughs> calendar should be out. Uh, Definitely the, get that. The Stavi Baby 2021s. I, I went to the studio. I hired an artist to fucking whip some shit up. Mm-hmm. We got we got some nice stuff going. You're gonna love it. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, if you, you have all the holidays on all the calendar squares, we got some hot. We got the major holidays. In, it, you have Israel it, Independence. Day? Absolutely not. Certainly not. Um, and do you uh, see Trump unfollowed Israel? That's awesome. Yeah, yeah so sick. <laughs> I love him. Dude. Yeah, I love him too. <sighs> so check that shit out, and um, hopefully I'll be in uh, Bananas Comedy Club in December. Or in Cincinnati? Atlantic City. Oh. No, no, not Coburn. It's just Bananas. And, and, and that's Bananas in Hasbrook Heights, December. Yeah, they, we want to name it Go Bananas, but that was already taken, so we just went with Bananas. <laughs> <laughs> and also Atlantic City Comic Club. <laughs> Hopefully there is no... My dream was always to have a club called Bananas, Go Bananas. Mm-hmm. Go Bananas. I mean, there had to be a banana theme. It had to be banana. Because what we're trying to do is trick the blacks into coming in. All okay, right. All right. right. There well, it is. Okay. So anyway... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. I, That's the name it. Bananas <laughs> trick, <laughs> no, trick Joe, black people into going in. No, stop Joe, it. Stop. stop it. Cut his mic. That is not. Up. That's that's what. Oh, that's. everything was segregated, and I was one of the first people that said, "Let's call everything bananas." <laughs> And to help re- the economy. <laughs> to reintegrate, yeah. Um, and I apologize. The shows in Connecticut got canceled. They were There were some weird restrictions, and it just made sense not to do shows in a uh, casino in Connecticut. So mm-hmm. hopefully I can go back when Corona's... Now that Joe Biden is solving coronavirus, hopefully... I guarantee you, once it's safe, I will be doing a tour everywhere. I can't wait. Also, we're pushing up the on the deadline to order shirts at Come.Town if you want them before the holidays. Mm. Just to be safe, you should give yourself like two to three weeks uh-huh. for them to ship the order. Because if you catch them in between like um, prints, then right. it's going to be another, get f- You might get your ass cheeks. You from, might get yeah. your cheeks clapped. Oh, also, I'm going to be auctioning. Yeah, my cheeks clapped. I'm going to be auctioning off some uh, some paintings before the holidays as well. I'll get them framed to make them look nice. Mm. Nice, dude. And it's all going to charity. The ch- uh, yeah, the ch- a guy's name Charity. Yeah, is her? It, no, it's a strip. A guy. No, named it's a Charity. hot stripper named Charity. It's her brother. Come on, man. It's, it's a brother's name. A girl, a girl named Charity's brother. The Saint mm-hmm. Jude's. It's going to Saint Jude. Saint Jude's yeah. penis hospital. One percent of it will be. It's very to, funny that there's uh, only one Jewish saint, and he's the one that's always asking for extra change <laughs> for kids, though. For oh, sick sh- kids. Oh sure, yeah. <laughs> the hospital is for sick oh, kids. Sure, yeah. <laughs> they put on clown noses and make the sick kids feel yeah, like they're Saint, not going to die Saint Jude tomorrow. is the patron okay, saint of asking on, for <laughs> maybe rounding up the dollar maybe to two dollars for the so kids. Two dollar and seventy eight cents. Why not? Just give me twelve more cents for the kids for and the for, kids. The, for their incredibly well compensated it's, executive staff. It's for That's the kids. Right. It's for the kids. Yeah. They used to have before movies would start. If you showed up like thirty, I don't know why I've done that in my life. Show you get half to hour early. you get to them I, like sometimes I don't know maybe it was my dad's fault I don't know but my get, mom would do that we would get there pretty early my yeah. mom would do it too my mom used to do that with like um, the airport mm, oh mm-hmm. yeah oh yeah where it's like we'd have to fly somewhere and she'd be like seven hours yes, early fifteen hours before the flight you know and it's then brutal. you're just sitting there fucking pissed. I hated that shit. Yeah. Yeah, and then she wouldn't let you buy anything because it was marked up prices. Of course not. Yeah. Well, I mean, nobody should buy anything in the airport. You should shoplift from LaGuardia. Yep. I stole. LaGuardia, the LaGuardia is asking for it. So dude. easy. Mm-hmm. LaGuardia is walking through an alley with a mini skirt on. <laughs> okay. I'm okay. telling you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> LaGuardia <laughs> should not have been wearing that. <laughs> I think I'm lost. <laughs> I think these con bars are lost in this alley, <laughs> putting a cash register all the way over by the magazines. <laughs> it's 50 feet away. 
That's right. I usually just eat one while I'm waiting. Mm-hmm. And That's then, smart. And yeah, and I just I, I breeze past bottle. the register and I was like, ah, well, I didn't want to buy this, but it touched my penis by accident. So <laughs> <laughs> I feel weird putting it back on the so show. So I'm just going to throw it away <laughs> out there. I'm going to throw it away out there. I'm just throwing this out because it touched my penis as I was walking <laughs> past. <laughs> <laughs> it would be wrong I, it, for anyone else. I don't. Do. I was worried a kid might get my penis germs in his mouth. If, <laughs> yeah, I'll keep it down. <laughs> All right, see you later. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to Orlando. <laughs> it's my first to... time in Orlando. What's up, man? <laughs> yeah, no, I just saw your your fucking Marlins hat. I thought maybe you were also going to Orlando. Yeah, my penis touched this kind bar. <laughs> yeah, no, it's first time flying, so I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited, dude. Before this, I've I've only ever been in a truck. <laughs> yeah, the only other type of thing I've been in is a truck, I guess, in an elevator one time. Uh, uh fuck. Yeah, <sighs> yeah, no, I was just I was I, yeah I was looking at your hat and I walked past and my penis grazed uh, my penis touches my penis grazed all the parfait cups. <laughs> yeah, it's, you know sometimes it's because um, I I I like using this the hole when I pee, but a lot of times I forget to put my penis back in, <laughs> especially if it's one of those bathrooms where uh, they say employees must wash hands. It's confusing. Yeah, because you know, I mean, which is it's weird that you know you're only supposed to wash your hands if you have a job, but I'm uh, I'm actually working it. I'm, I've been working it. Uh, what's a funny place for that guy to work at? <laughs> Boston Market. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got a job there. I start um, when I get back from. I got. I, I'm going on a trip to Orlando to celebrate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I start next week, but I got a credit card and I'm, I max it out. Always wanted to see Disney. Yeah, because uh, I just, I really wanted, my childhood dream was always to ride an airplane. And I didn't know where else. No, Disneyland's fucking gay, but I figured if there was a package and stuff, so it was like $15,000 to stay at Disney World. To stay in the castle. To stay in the castle. And you get to fuck uh, Cinderella from what, I, from what I've heard on Red Eat. It's a website. Red Eat. <laughs> red All eat. right. Time for lunch, folks. Which button do I press? The, the red. The red button. See?